it's one of the most stunning things to say that this little mosquito kills almost a million people every year. Most of those deaths are from malaria. We study mosquitoes in the lab where we grow them and researchers volunteer sticking their own arm in and feeding them with their own blood. One of the partners our foundation works with is the Shoklo Malaria Research Unit in Thailand. When you're infected with malaria, you can take drugs that clear it from your body. Our best drug, artemisinin and combination therapy, ACT. Unfortunately, right now in Southeast Asia, we're seeing resistance emerge. And that's very scary because if that mutation left Southeast Asia and moved to Africa, in the place where most malaria deaths take place and where these new drugs have been so valuable, they will stop working. A child experiencing cerebral malaria is an awful thing to watch because their brain is being damaged and they you know, have seizures and you have to move very quickly. If I've been in those wards, you can see the sweatiness, the incredible fever that the child's experiencing. Along the Myanmar Thailand border, many people work in the forests. These workers who often are bringing malaria back home. One thing that's confusing about malaria is if you've been exposed enough, your symptoms go way, way down. Yet we want to clear those people so that they're not a source of the disease. We've got a team of health workers called the Malaria Elimination Task Force, and they're on the front line. They're trying to find the cases and treat everyone. I'm Gilles Delmas. I'm the director of the Malaria Elimination Task Force. No. Years ago, there were lots of malaria cases. Anybody around here would have several malaria attacks in a year, sometimes more than one a month. The situation has got much better and the transmission is much lower than what it was. And the problem is that the medicines we're using now to control malaria, to treat the patients, are showing signs of resistance. And we know that within the next two to five years, the medicines we're using now will be useless. So the world is investing in these workers in Southeast Asia to go find the malaria and get rid of it. If we can get rid of it there, it won't have a chance to spread to other locations. We reach out to the people in the communities, creating health post workers. These are people who don't have medical training, they're just local villagers who volunteer to help out with this effort. They receive kits with the diagnostic equipment, and the local people trust them, they know them, and if a test comes back positive, they'll be able to give them the drugs immediately. In the areas where malaria parasite infections are very, very high, we're even asking some villages, all of the people there, to take the drug to clear out the malaria. If we do it with the right coverage level, malaria will die out in that region. If we do this well, we'll stop drug-resistant malaria from spreading, and we'll learn how you can get rid of malaria in villages and use that on a global basis. There's just so many mosquitoes.